Irving wasn't present at the Nets Media Day Monday. Not physically, anyway. New York laws prevent unvaccinated individuals from entering certain buildings. The Barclays Center is one of them. Two hours into group interviews, long after Kevin Durant and James Harden had left the dais, Irving popped up on a screen, zooming in from his home in New Jersey. Irving was asked, did he plan to get vaccinated? I like to keep that stuff private, Irving said. I'm a human being first. Obviously living in this public sphere, there's a lot of questions about what's going on in the world of Kyrie, and I think I would love to keep that private and handle it the right way with my team and go forward together with a plan. Obviously I'm not able to be present there today, but that doesn't mean I'm putting any limits on the future for me being able to join the team. Later, Irving was asked whether he expects to play in home games this season. Again, I would like to keep all that private, Irving said. Please just respect my privacy. All the questions kind of leading into what's happening, please, everything will be released at a due date once we get this cleared up. As of right now, please respect my privacy. Look, medical decisions are personal. And often should be private. But this is different. Unless the law changes, an unvaccinated player for a New York team, like Irving, will not be eligible to play indoors. That means Irving cannot play in Brooklyn's 41 home games. He would presumably also be ineligible for the two games the Nets play at Madison Square Garden. An all-star point guard could miss more than half the season. These aren't medical questions. They are basketball questions. And Irving owes everyone answers. Monday should have been a good day in Brooklyn. The Nets are loaded. Kevin Durant, two years removed from the torn Achilles, is the best player in the NBA again.